I am an artist. I've been an artist since I was six years old. I've had 45 years in, a, in this business uh, professionally. I don't teach. I work in and out of studios. I'm what they call a studio rat. I also do not have a fine art degree. I am totally self-taught. Most uh, people don't believe it because if you read some of my older bios, um, it will tell you I have a degree, but I don't. The reason, we're going to talk about that. It's called creativity. <laughs> 30, 40 years ago, you couldn't get into exhibition in any of the serious galleries unless you had a degree. I had an art agent when I was 20, and she creatively embellished my resume. <laughs> now, um, it works for me that I don't have a degree. I'm, I'm much more proud of what I do. Creativity lives within me, as me. It also lives within you. I am you. You are me. Because creativity is problem solving with relevance and imagination. Because I do not have a, a school to go to where I teach and can get a paycheck, I have to be creative every single moment of my life or else I can't eat. And what I want you to know is though you're not artist, you're creative. The clothes you have on today, you decided to put on with some creative thinking. Anytime you have to hammer a nail and you can't find a hammer and you use a shoe or a soup can, it's creative thinking. You're all creative, it's in our DNA. It's problem solving. I'm gonna show you how I've solved some of my problems with my imagination. Early in my career, um, I only worked in charcoal. It's because that's the only way I could see. Art is seeing. I only saw things in black and white. We were in the civil rights movement, after the civil rights movement, it was all there. Everything was black and white. So I worked in charcoal because I could see in charcoal. I did not add color. It wouldn't have made sense to me then. Then I began to add color to warm up skin tones. Why? Because the longer I stayed in the art world, that's where I wanted to be, I knew that for me to be successful, I had to see broader. I'm not a formula artist, so just because I sold a charcoal drawing very young and kept selling them, I didn't want to stay there. I had to grow. So I added skin tone. Did a lot of that. Portrait work was the bread and butter of my career for a long time. But then I decided I had to become more abstract, more uh, it, less literal, let's say. I just wanted to feel my art. And then we had the World Trade Center and had an opportunity to do something that could go out in front of other people, but it made a statement for me. I wanted to try to heal people with my art, so this is the World Trade Center as I saw it. Everything in life's not so deep and dark. You have to have a hallelujah moment. This is a hallelujah moment. But the interesting thing is here, I'm bringing in more color, but this is a, a watercolor. This is a five foot by six foot almost watercolor. You're only seeing part of it. And, and I did a lot of exhibitions around this kind of thing, but what was I trying to do? I was trying to take myself out of the depths of my art and start seeing things in a different way. And this is a transitional piece. Transition, solving problems, using my imagination. 
every day. Now I'm an older woman. Now I have to tell you, when I created as a child, and I did early, I was creating to escape the chaos of the adults around me. When I was a young woman, I was creating to escape my own chaos. And now that I'm an older woman, watch the word, older woman, I create to escape back to the child that I was. And how am I doing that? Well, I like eight foot and nine foot and seven foot paintings. Well, I'm 5'3". So I now throw my canvas on the floor and I use brooms and mops as brushes. Now, how did that come to me? I had to solve the problem of reaching. I had to solve the problem of broad stroke. This is creativity. But you use creativity every day the same way. I, I, I know that. For all of you who have cars, excuse the Boston accent, uh, you went and you bought your car and you had to choose color and you had to think of money and you had to think of this and you had to think of that. So the car that you drive came from a creative process. Everything you do, it's in our DNA. I am you. You are me. The difference is I use mine because I am an artist. But I use creativity with the art. You don't have to be an artist to be creative. That is such a myth. And when people say, I am not creative, that's a self-fulfilling prophecy that hurts you in your day-to-day -day life because you never think that you can do something bigger than yourself. But you can because that is why imagination is so important. Every single person in this room is unique. I taught myself to sculpt. Had to. Wanted to do sculpture. Taught myself. Took this sculpture. And now I'm doing a 30-foot installation in stainless steel of the same woman with a time capsule in the top of her head. It's going up in North Miami in late 2014. And it has all of the local children and their parents uh, letters and keepsakes so that where she's planted, she represents Mother Earth and Mother Love and Mother Nature. Um, how did I get from that sculpture to that? Someone sent me an RFP and, and I remember my friends and my team saying, but Gail, you, you don't do public art, you're not a big, you don't sculpt. I do anything I want to do. If I want to do it. I am you, you are me. So I did it. I just came back from doing a film where I was the art director on a film. When they asked me if I would do it, I said yes, because I don't say no. <laughs> I have to make money. <laughs> I have to work. And as long as it's in the field which I love, which is the art, I'm fine. However, it's the creative thinking that's helping me along the way. It's the creative thinking that has given me over 45 years of a successful career. What makes it successful is not finance. What makes it successful is that the people of TED asked me to come and tell you about my career. What makes it successful is that I can tell you that I am you and you are me. Creatively, there is no difference. You have to use yours in your day-to-day -day life. I have to use mine in my day-to-day -day life. You have to use it in business. You have to use it at home. You're using it all the time. The fact that you're here means you have the interest. So all you have to do is remember that anything you do and you give it some thought and you resolve a problem and you have a remedy and you use your imagination to get there and do it, there is no difference. What am I doing now? I'm writing, a, I'm writing a book. I've been working on this book for 12 years. It's about an artist. What else could it be? I can't write a book about anybody else. And it's not about me. But I'm writing it 
It's called Art as a Novel. And the reason I'm writing it is because I'm going to not work in paint for about two years. Why? Because the art is going to be the novel. I'm not a formula. I'm an artist. I'm a human being who matures, just, you know, getting older. Love the time I'm in now. Trying to get back to my imagination as a child understanding that that's what life is all about. It's just you and me and how we think, how we get to what we do and why we do it. It's very simple. You're using your creative spirit every single waking moment of your life. And once you understand that that is what you are, the creative is that important, you won't say, I can't do it. You'll give it thought. That's all I'm asking. Give it thought. That's what I do. There are things that I have not successfully completed. But it's not because I didn't try. It's because it just wasn't for me. But most of everything I do, I'm OK. I'm still standing, still making a living. Creativity is problem solving with imagination. And imagination, by the way, nobody can tell you whether you used it or you didn't because it's in the eye of the beholder. No one can take away your uniqueness. No one can tell you what unique is. It's unique. Imagination is who you are. Your, your, every cell in your body is you. That makes you different than me. But you are me, and I am you. Everything I've done creatively, I share. So share your creative selves. Thank you.